this is the uh, first implement made out of all that scrap metal I bought the other day. This is going to be a three point trailer hitch with the gooseneck add on on top. It'll actually be changed a little bit when I actually weld it all together. This is kind of just what it's going to look like. Stay tuned. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Hey, uh, real quick uh, note, when you uh, grind into tubing like this to a piece of angle like this, you want to bevel that inside edge. I don't know if you can see that real good. Bevel that, that way when they actually meet, you'll be as flush as you can get. And when you weld in there, it'll be a lot cleaner and actually straight so it's always a plus plus there's uh, one side I've already completed that uh I don't know if you can really see the weld my camera on my phone's not real great but that's just uh, flux core the old uh, Chicago <laughs> electric welder from Harbor Freight. It's the uh, 170. This is actually a pretty good little welder. I mean, I've never had it give me any trouble. You know, this is all pretty thick steel. I'm running. I'm running it pretty hot. Nine max setting one but that's what this wire likes to run at so that's what I'm gonna run it at stay tuned well, it's starting to take shape a little bit uh, that little hole is not a hole on purpose that's just stuff you deal with when you buy scrap metal I'll fill that in the actual pin hole goes right here so little things like that you got to overlook because buying steel outright it's expensive I went ahead and uh, I kind of welded up both the seams and I went ahead and welded this top piece even though there's gonna be a plate over this you know a little extra I'll grind that off flush but a little bit extra never hurts it'd be a little better than the Chinese crap you buy so uh, a little bit more to come well, we got most of it done. We got the gooseneck. It's welded in. And right here, I'm gonna come in and uh, weld another piece like right there. Trim it up, of course. And uh, put the D-ring on. That way I have a place to hook chains or if I need to pull something. It's always nice to have a D-ring. There's the hitch itself. It's all welded in. Everything's kind of almost there. I need to trim up some of this, clean it up. But uh, on the let's see on the back side, I went ahead and braced the back of that, which I'll clean all that up. That way, when I get pulling on D-ring, I'll actually be pulling on a reinforced spot. We're almost done. There's the uh, primed up finished version of it. I'll finish painting it in just a few minutes. There's that side. Right there was where that hole was. I welded it up. Can't even tell where it was. Here's the final result. We got our Ford New Holland Blue. And there's the hitch right there. And like I said, that's not a bad rig.
kind of a overcast cloudy day but it's fun to make something yourself thanks for watching everybody